Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is about fixing the issue with GTA 5 while launching the game. Users are getting the error. Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, if you have installed OneDrive into a system, make sure you completely uninstall the OneDrive from your PC. After uninstalling OneDrive, launch either Steam or Epic Launcher, whichever launcher you are using to launch the game. If you are using Epic Launcher, go to the library and then click on three dot icon next to a game and choose the option manage and click on the option verify. If you are using Steam, go to the library, right click on your game and choose option properties. From the left pane, click on the option install files and choose the option verify integrity of the game files. After doing this, restart your PC and this will fix out the issue with GTA 5. However, if this failed to work out, let's proceed with the next step. In next step, you need to open the game directory. So if you're using Steam, launch the Steam library, right click on your game properties, click on install files and click on the option browse to open the game directory. If you're using Epic Launcher, launch the Epic Launcher into your PC, go to a library, click on three dot icon, choose the option manage and here click on this folder icon to open the game directory. At my end, the game is installed in this PC F drive GTA 5. Now after opening the game directory, scroll down and you will find exe files of GTA 5. First one is GTA 5, second one is GTA 5 launcher and third one is play GTA 5. What you need to do is to right click on each of the file and choose option properties, click on compatibility tab and make sure you check mark this particular option. Run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and ok button. You need to do the same with GTA 5 as well as GTA 5 launcher. Nextly, open BattleEye folder and again you will find BE service. Do the same. Right click, properties, compatibility and check mark this particular option. Run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK button. Once you have done so, go ahead and try to relaunch the game. And again, this also failed. The last hope you have is to right click on your game. If you are using Windows 11, choose the option show more options and here you will find the option of troubleshoot compatibility. Click on the option troubleshoot compatibility. This will go ahead and troubleshoot any kind of compatibility issue into your system which will help you fix out the issue of GTA 5. Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. So once troubleshoot compatibility is fixed, this will fix out your issue. And if nothing works, all you can do is to do a clean installation of the game. And to do a clean, and to do a clean installation, launch your browser scroll down and download its portable version of Revo uninstaller into your PC. Wait for few seconds to finish downloading the zip file. Once zip file is downloaded, open the zip file, drag and drop the folder onto your desktop. Wait for it to finish unzipping the files. Open the downloaded folder, right click Revo U port and choose the option run as administrator. Now from here, all the installed apps shown right in front of you. You need to uninstall GTA 5 as well as Rockstar Launcher one by one. Find Rockstar Games Launcher as well as GTA 5, click on it and choose the option uninstall. This will completely uninstall the Rockstar Games Launcher as well as GTA 5 into your PC. After uninstalling, restart your PC and then relaunch the game and this will completely fix out the issue of Windows cannot access the specified device path or file with GTA 5. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.